Alright, so it's officially been a year since I started the channel, and to celebrate, I traveled to beautiful Duck Mountain Provincial Park. And although it was crawling with bears, it didn't stop me from enjoying the absolute beauty of this park. And as I watched the sunset on the first night, all I could think about was how good breakfast was going to be the next day. After waking up with the usual camp level bedhead, I started a roaring fire and made a pot of strong black coffee. But before we get started on the hash, we need to head back into town and do a bit of prep first. I'm using russet since they're going to yield the crispiest potato. I'm also doing about one and a half potatoes per person. Cut the potatoes into bite-sized pieces. They don't need to be perfect, just consistent in size. Now you can absolutely boil the potatoes and they'll turn out just fine, but I like a really crispy potato, so I'm deep frying them instead. But as always, you do you. Fry the potatoes at 325 degrees Fahrenheit just until they start to get some color, then allow them to cool. Increase the temperature to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and fry them for a second time until they're nice and crispy. I'm a big fan of Brussels sprouts in a hash. So after slicing off their woody stems and peeling off their outer leaves, cut them in half and blanch them in boiling water for about 30 seconds to a minute, depending on their size. Then rinse them off in cold water until they're completely cooled. This step just helps to cook them faster and more evenly when on the fire. You're also going to need some green onions thinly sliced. The final thing we'll need to prep is some fresh corn on the cob. For this, just remove the husk and carefully slice the kernels off of the cob. Place everything into sealed containers, and we're good to go. I'm using Spam for my hash, but bacon or literally anything you'd like works too. In addition to everything we've prepped, you'll also need a couple of eggs, some butter, canola oil, salt and pepper, and of course, some kimchi. I'm only using half the can of Spam since there's already going to be a lot of food. Slice the Spam into cubes roughly the same size as the Brussels sprouts and potatoes. Place a large pan, preferably cast iron, on the fire with a few drizzles of canola oil. Then add the Spam and continue to cook directly over the flame until they start to get nice and crispy. Push the Spam to one side and add the kimchi. You want to separate them until the kimchi juice has reduced to avoid getting that nicely crisp Spam all soggy. Nobody wants that. Toss in the corn, followed by the Brussels sprouts, and cook until they're both tender and just cooked through. Make a well in the center and add a good amount of butter and once it's nice and bubbling, add the potatoes, allowing them to re-crisp in the center for a few minutes before mixing everything together. Toss in the green onion and season with kosher salt and black pepper. Make two more wells, then crack an egg into each one. Cover with a lid or some aluminum foil and allow it to cook until the whites are just set and the yolks are still gooey. Season each egg with kosher salt and pepper, then remove from the fire. Totally optional, but for a bit of green, I'm topping the hash with some fresh cilantro. And that's it! Campfire, kimchi, and spam hash. I'm not a breakfast person at all, but when I'm camping, it's a completely different story. And I can't even begin to describe how satisfying this was after a full day of hiking, though to be fair, after eating this, I pretty much just sat around the fire the rest of the day, nursing a food coma. Big thanks to the Strange Sessions podcast for sending in their best you do you. If you'd like to appear in an episode along with a shout out, send your best you do you to tristanpetrash at gmail.com or in a DM to my Instagram account. I'll leave links in the description. And if you like my channel and are interested in supporting it, you can check out my coffee page. I'll leave a link in the description for that as well. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and stay awesome.